All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take this sky and put it in this background, or what I mean is replace this sky. So I'm going to go to Control A, and then Control C. Control A makes you select all of it. Control C is to copy. Come in here and do Control V to paste. And right now it's too large, so I'm going to use my selection tool here, and I'm going to resize it. Now, when you resize something, though, you should always hold down Shift. That way, you know it's, you're keeping the portions correct. All right. Right about there looks all right. So there's the horizon. So I'm going to go just below that. Uh, and what I should do now, though, is I want to skew it. So I'm going to hold down Shift. I'm going to grab this. I'm oh, no, sorry, not Shift. Control. And then bring this in like this. I'm trying to get this uh, the clouds to kind of stretch a certain way. So I'm going to bring it in just to the edge of the page right here. And then the same thing. Bring it over to the edge on this side. And then I could probably bring these down, too. All right, that's why I can get a little more vignetting at the top, a little more dramatic. Uh, color towards the top there. All right, that looks pretty good there. I then need to click off it, so I'm going to use the selection tool again. It says apply transformation. Yes, apply that. And if you look now, it's it, that's what it looks like instead. All right. And how do I then get it cut out? Because right now I have these mountains like this. So I'm going to turn that layer off right here by hitting a lot of eyeball. And then I'm going to select the background. Hey, wait, why did it select like that? Well, that's because I need to click on this background here, not just turn the eyeball off. You actually have to click on the background. So let's try to make that selection again. Now, the selection tool in CS6 or CC is very good. So I'm pretty good there. I see it didn't do quite a good job right here on the horizon. So I'm going to hold down Alt, and that's going to make a little minus sign. Just kind of highlight that spot, too. That looks pretty good there. So I'm going to turn my layer 1 back on and click layer 1 as well. And then I'm going to press this button right here called Layer Mask add layer mask. Click that and voila, that's it. Good luck.